what's up everybody and welcome back to my channel so i'm gonna do a little voiceover for you guys today this video is just me doing my makeup something quick every day i just decided to record myself doing my makeup this day it's like i'm trying a couple new products or whatever as you guys will see so let's go ahead and get started there's my tongue what's up okay so i'm doing my eyebrows on this video for you all and they weren't the best i'm just gonna tell you that now also my track is showing uh don't judge me so i'm just going underneath my eyebrows with this nyx concealer big mistake because i don't know what it was about this concealer this day she was too thick for me. I couldn't really blend her out. And like when I started doing my eyeshadow, it was almost as if I didn't even set my eyelids with powder, but I did. And you guys will see me do that. But I don't know what was going on with it. Um, I'm not gonna use it again. It's probably just old or something. I used to really love that concealer, but whatever. So I'm setting my eyelids with some powder right now and yeah that's what i'm doing i decided to leave these clips of me doing my brows in the video just so y'all can see even though they looked not so great and i really had to work on them but as usual i'm just putting some oil on my face and i mix the oil with the cover fx uh like illuminating drops or something just to give me a little glow underneath my foundation so that's what i'm doing and y'all know I have dry skin, so I need that glow. I need some moisture, some oil. And I usually use my Anastasia, what is it called? Oh God, what is it? <laughs> I forgot the name of it, but I usually use the pencil, but my eyebrows look like shit today. I don't know why. So I just decided to go back to Old Faithful, which is my dip brow. And that kind of helps a little bit, but what really helped my brows was this step here outlining them with my la girl pro concealer and cool tan um really kind of helped them because they were still looking a little shitty i just fucked up oops but yeah so i'm just gonna do that and then i'll be back when i get started with my face All right, so for primer, I am using the Maybelline, what? The Maybelline Baby Skin Primer, and I just kind of like to focus that underneath my eyes and like my nose. I feel like underneath my eyes and stuff is where I have the most pores. And yeah, um, I'm trying a new foundation today. Oh, I'm trying a new, a new eyeshadow palette today too. I just got it from Ulta. This is the Morphe Boss Mood, I don't remember, 35GXYZ, I don't know. One of them, I'm going to take that color. <laughs> and as you guys can see, well, you can't see because I cut it out, but it was hard as fuck for me to blend this color. So I'm going to take my contour palette and then I'm going to just try and blow out the orange. Um, this look is just absolutely nothing i'm just literally putting these shadows in my crease once again it's just an everyday look so it's not like it has to be perfect and you know just fucking amazing it's just you know an everyday look so that's what i'm doing here um the browns kind of helped blow the orange out it was a little bit better but like i was saying about the foundation i'm going to be using the nyx can't stop won't stop foundation sorry y'all for some reason i'm out of breath as usual i'm mixing um warm honey and mahogany to get the right shade as you can see I, I mean i guess it's a match i don't really know i have to try it again this is my first time trying it so i don't really have nothing to say about it um if you guys want me to do like a wear test or something i will because I was reading and it said 24 hours. I don't know who or what or why. 
anybody will need foundation on that long, but whatever. Um, so I'm just going to put that on with the foundation brush and then I'm going to blend it out with a beauty blender. So for my concealer, I am using the, what was that? The Too Faced Morning This Way. Don't use this much. You don't need this much concealer. Um, I'm obviously a psychopath. Like, I don't need this much. This very full coverage, and it's pretty good. I've been using it a lot. This is a new product too, because I usually use my LA Girl Pro Concealer. But I just picked that up from Sephora. A couple weeks ago, um, as usual, I'm cream contouring with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Stick Foundation. Um, I think that's about it for all the new products for now. I'm about to go back to the stuff I've been using. If y'all can see my edges, <laughs> it looks crazy. It looks so crusty, but um, I'm going to fix it, I swear, with this bronzer. Or what is this? <laughs> Cream contour. Sorry, y'all. I'm not really taking this. You know, this video is just like a fun, everyday video. Just something for you guys to watch. If you guys want me to go more in depth about what I do and why I do it and stuff like that, I will. But this is really just kind of one of those watching, you know, pick up as you go type things. And I'm just going to blend that in. Make sure it all looks amazing and then I'm gonna set my face with some powder All right, so to set my face, uh, my under eyes, all the areas I highlighted, I am using the Huda Beauty Setting Powder. I just said that was the end of the new products, but this is the main new product that y'all need to go out and grab because this shit is amazing, y'all. Like, I know Huda is a little, mm, you know, not everybody's favorite, but I decided to try out this powder because people were, like, raving about it. And I wanted to try out a new powder. And this powder really is good. I got the shade Blondie. I'm going to show you guys um, a few clips down. But I got the shade Blondie. And this is like the perfect setting powder shade for me. It's like has a yellow tint to it. And it's just so amazing. This is exactly why I didn't want your ass in here, Ollie. Get down. My son. All right, so moving on, I'm just going to set my whole entire face with, I think that's like a black radiance pressed powder type situation thing. Y'all know, I've been using this for a minute. Like, I clearly hit pan on it. I really love it. Um, Yeah, so I'm going to set my face and then I'm going to bronze with another black radiance product. This is the True Complexion Contour Palette, the same one I used on my eye and I'm just going to set my cream contour with this and then I'm going to use another bronzer shade actually I'm going to use two more I'm going to use one for my nose and then one just to darken up my contour just a little bit because I am using the light to medium palette I do have the medium to dark palette but it it is like a little too dark for me sometimes so I'm just going to go in with my um well now I'm just going under my contour with that Huda Beauty powder again like I said it's really amazing and she has like I don't know like 10 different colors or something so it is woman color friendly um yeah like I said I have the shade Blondie it's really really good you guys you should just go get it uh, from Sephora so yeah like I was saying I am using the Too Faced Dark Chocolate Soleil bronzer just to go over my contour one more time and to darken it up. And then I'm going to snatch this nose, honey, with the Maybelline Fit Me powder. I don't remember what color I have, but it's not as dark as my usual contour colors. Um, you know, I don't really like having a really dark nose contour. So y'all know what's next. I'm just going to press in that powder with my Beauty Blender, which is damp with Fix Plus. 
as you guys saw me spray on there and then I'll be back when it's time to highlight this face honey All right, you guys, so y'all know I sprayed my face with Fix Plus, and I'm going in with the Fenty Beauty Highlighter in Hustle Baby. This is my favorite highlighter, one of my favorites. Look at how this just goes on. I just look so just glowy and amazing. Highlighter is so amazing, and um, cute the motherfucking slow-mo. So I hope my highlight uh, distracts you from my crusty ass baby hairs. But moving on, so we're just gonna set these brows, honey, with some eyebrow gel. If you guys have like crazy ass brow hairs like me, then you need eyebrow gel. My life changed when I got some eyebrow gel. You can get it from the beauty supply store um, or Target or wherever. Um, I put some mascara on my bottom lashes, but I did not show that part because I was way too close to the camera and y'all could really see my trick. So I'm just going in with some fake ass moles that I be doing. It looks like I'm doing a lot, but I don't, I don't think I do that much. Um, something new, I'm using the Morphe Setting Spray Mist. Um, I don't have nothing to say about this either. It's nice. I got it from Ulta. If you guys are looking for a different setting spray, it's so cute. Um, I hope you guys like this video. Now, enjoy these slow-mos of me looking fine as fuck, okay? <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, leave me, I don't know, a video idea in the comments. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye! Uh, before I go, these bundles are from my brand, Shop the Good Brand. We haven't launched our hair extension line yet, but we will very, very soon. Um, be sure to follow me on my social media handles. They'll be on the last screen. And I'm going to go now because y'all need to enjoy this beat, honey. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in my next video.